Now that we've gone ahead and created a in-place mass within our project, and we've gone ahead and added in mass floors and actual floors, we can go ahead now and add in also some walls and a roof. So I'm going to come over here and basically select the whole thing because what we're going to do is set the mass model up so we don't have to look at the floors anymore. We're going to hide them. So let's use the filter tool to come in. And what we're going to do is make sure that mass is not selected and press OK. With that completed, right click on Hide in View, Select Category. Now what happens is that gives us a much better view of the mass without the floors interfering, so we can go ahead and add in walls and the roof. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to Massing and Site, and you'll notice that there's a panel called Model by Face. We can go ahead and add in a curtain system, roofs, and walls. Let's pick walls first. And under Walls, go to the Type Selector. And in the Type Selector, go ahead and pick out a wall type. You might not know exactly what you want at the very beginning. Just pick one, and you can always change it later. And the next thing that you can do is come up to the Location Line and make sure that Core Face Exterior is selected. What this does is it keeps the wall to the inside of the mass line, so it doesn't go to the outside. And then also over to the draw panel, make sure that pick faces is selected. Just come over and find a face. Go ahead and add in the wall. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's go back to the massing in sight and add in a curtain system. In this case, we have a 5 by 10 curtain system, the only one that's actually available by default. And it's not actually adequate enough for us. What we need is a reverse of what you see there. We need a 10 by 5 because our levels are based on 10 feet increments. We're going to go and make a new one. I'm going to click Edit Type. And let's go to Duplicate. We're just going to reverse the numbers here. I'm going to put in 10 feet by 5 feet and press OK. All we're going to do now is change the spacing on Grid 1 and Grid 2. Let's come in to where it says Spacing and change this to 5. And on grid two, we change this to 10, and then press OK. Next, make sure that it's selected, and then come over to multiple select, as you see it's on, and select the faces that you want it to go on. So we're going to pick these two angled ones. There you go. And then I'm going to come up and hit Create System. And it goes ahead and places the curtain wall system on those angled faces. So that looks pretty good. Next step is Roof. So let's go ahead and add a roof. Again, you might not know exactly what roof you want to use, but just go ahead and pick one. Make sure that it's on the correct level. In this case, it's going to be level 11. Make sure that Select Multiple is on. And then come over and kind of hover where the roof is supposed to be, and then click. Once you've got it and selected, hit Create Roof. And there you go. I'm going to click on Modify and then come over and click on the roof again, and you'll notice that there's some shape handles there. I can take those shape handles and modify the roof so I have a slight overhang. Then I can come back and maybe look at that later, but it kind of gives you an idea as far as what you want to do. Now, what I'm going to do is change, let's say, the model here a little bit by saying, let's extend the mass off on one side. What I'm going to do is just select everything, go back to Filter, and I'm going to check None. And I'm going to select Mass Only and press OK. When I do that, notice that the mass is the only thing that's been selected. My walls and roof and everything have not been selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pull out this side of the mass and make it that big. When I do that, notice what happens to the walls, which is a separate system from the mass, do not update. So what I need to do is click on the wall and hit Update to Face up here in the ribbon. And it automatically updates to the new location of where the mass ended. Additionally, I'd have to do the same thing with the curtain wall that's here. Or maybe I want to add in a, another face here and apply another wall material other than the curtain wall. To do that, go ahead and select again the mass and go to Edit in Place. Once you have Edit in Place selected, go ahead and use the Tab key until you find the face for where you have the curtain wall, and then click on it. 
Now you've got that face selected. A number of other tools show up here, one of which is a panel, which is called Form Element. Pick up Add Edge, and you might want to zoom in a little bit and just kind of place it where you need it, and then hit Modify. So now I have an edge in here. I'm going to hit Finish Mask. Because I have a new face here, I can go ahead and add in a new wall. So let's go ahead and pick wall. Again, we'll use the brick CMU. You notice that it's picking the new face, and there it is. So now what's happened is I've gone ahead and applied a number of things, but I still don't have on my floors. In this case, what we want to do, come down to the status bar down here, find reveal hidden elements. Go ahead and click on that. You'll see here that there's a number of things that are hidden, one of which is the mass floors and our regular floors. Click on the regular floor, right click, and then go to Unhide in View by Category. And then go back down and click Close Reveal Hidden Elements Off. So now you'll see that we have our floors, but again, just like the wall, it didn't update. So what we're going to do is just come in here and holding down the Control key, I'm going to go ahead and select those floors. And once I have them selected, notice Update to Face shows up. And I'll click, and there you go. So now that you have the floors put in place and you have some walls, just remember this. You can go ahead and create a mass element in the in-place portion of your project under Massing and Site. And then you have these Model by Face tools that allow you to go ahead and put in curtain systems, roofs, or walls. If you decide at some point to change the mass shape in any way, just make sure that you go ahead and click on the elements of either the walls or the roof or whatever. Make sure that you update them to the new shape of the mass. Once you're done, you can then go ahead and turn the mass off and then use what you have there as a basis for doing your design development.